Hi everyone! In this video I'm gonna show you how I upgraded this IKEA table. I used it for years. The drawers and foldable tabletops are really handy, but I needed more space. This small table here was a substitute for too long already. I've decided to keep this L shape but instead of this small table, I'm gonna use such a wide wooden plate and attach it to the side of the desk here with these kind of hinges. So if I don't need the extension, I can just fold it down. And if I need it, I want it to be supported by two of these 2x4s and the legs will only be attached with these kind of wooden pins here. So I can take the legs off and fold the plate down if I want to. So I had to improvise and I tucked the legs between the whiteboard, which is relatively heavy, and the table, so this might kind of work out. The white plate has been cut to size in the market where I bought it and the legs are so soft I can saw them by hand. This acrylic piece here is an invention by the great maker Jonathan Katz Moses. It has magnets and sticks to your saw and lets you cut at a certain angle. It's mostly used to make dovetail joints or in my case, just to make a straight cut. Now to attach the leg to the desk. I'm making holes to fit the pins inside, so I'm looking for a drill bit that has the same thickness as the pins and make holes in the desk and in the legs to join those. And of course, put tape on your drill bit to control how deep you want to go. Sadly, this is how I'm working since I don't have a workshop or proper vice, so don't do this at home, please. Little hack to avoid measuring. Transfer the points where you need to drill onto sticky notes. Don't do it as sloppily as me, though. Better check out Laura Kamp's video on how to avoid math. I'm gonna link it in the description. So I screwed up a little bit. The holes should be on this side, not on that one, because here's the ugly rough cut that should be facing the wall. So I had to do the holes again and fill up the old ones with a little bit of self-made wood filler. I just took some wood glue and mixed it with sawdust I had around. This side will face downwards, so it doesn't matter anyway how it looks. I'm just putting hinges now over this. This drill bit is so small and the drill itself already a tiny bit off-center, so it might be a little bit wobbly later. But since this is a project for myself, it doesn't need to be perfect anyway. Maybe it inspires you to make it better. Now I turn the plate right side up, use books to make it the same level as the desk and attach the other sides of the hinges. Here you can see the wobbling drill bit. Oops! So I've came up with another idea. The whole thing with the pins was nice, but it was a mess. It's not that stable, it looks awful. I screwed it up so many times. Doesn't matter. It's my first project of this kind. There may be a better idea. So 
To make it a little bit more stable, I will connect these two legs with another 2x4 and instead of relying only on the pins, I will use hinges here as well. This way I can still tuck the legs underneath the plate and fold down the whole thing. Let's see. I have pre-drilled the holes for the hinges on the bottom side of the plate, but before finally attaching those, I will have to give these rough edges some light sanding, because it still looks pretty ugly, and then I'm gonna paint the legs white so it matches the rest. Now screwing the legs to the table. It's more comfortable than it looks. Voila! This is how easily I can now extend my desk when I want to sew, for example. Let me know if you did something similar or if you have ideas on how to step up the game. This was just the most basic way to do it, with the materials and tools I had at hand. So, see you next time! Bye!